So what's going on guys, it is Jam, it is Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click onto any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions of what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. I apologise for my voice, one of my eardrums is giving me a bit of a problem at the moment, but you have to bear with me with that. <laughs> but it is prediction time though, it is prediction time. It's that time of the week though, it's Chris Eubank Jr. versus Arthur Abraham for the IBO Super Middleweight title. What, you never heard of the IBO Super Middleweight title before? Get the fuck out of here. That's a legitimate world title, what are you talking about? <laughs> we all know that's what the Eubanks like to say, but we all know it's a load of pony, but it is what it is. But anyway, this fight in terms of styles and the prediction, right... You know what you're getting with both of these fighters, don't you? Chris Eubank Jr. comes forward, throws a lot of shots, very high work rate, fantastic athleticism, very quick. Arthur Abraham, on the other hand, slow, well, definitely slowed down in the past couple of years. Arthur Abraham only likes to fight for about a minute of each round, doesn't have a particularly high work rate. So these guys are totally opposite. But I think that could be a problem with Arthur Abraham this Saturday night, the fact that Chris Eubank Jr. is going to have a very high work rate and he's just going to be throwing punches on him all night long. I'm not sure how Arthur Abraham will be able to react to that because he just likes to come forward. And he has that high guard though, Arthur Abraham, and that is a decent defence for him. But I can just see Eubank Jr. getting through with shots, getting on the inside. But don't get me wrong, Arthur Abraham can punch a little bit as well. He can punch off Abraham. Like we also saw it a few years back when he flattened Jermaine Taylor. Like Eubank Jr., even though he has looked like to have a very good chin, he still has to be a little bit cautious in this fight. He just can't be coming out um, with no defence at all because if Arthur Abraham catches him, he could hurt him because Arthur Abraham can bang a little bit. But I just see the work rate and the pressure being a little bit too much for Arthur Abraham. And I think he has definitely faded, especially since his fight with Gilberto Ramirez at the start of 2016 where he was totally outclassed by Gilberto Ramirez like over 12 rounds just totally dominated by the younger bigger guy but I'm going to say Chris Eubank Jr stops off at Abraham within 10 rounds that's my prediction I'm going to say off at Abraham will be stopped by Chris Eubank Jr in 10 rounds and Chris Eubank Jr retains his IBO super middleweight title and enters the World Boxing Super Series Tournament because the winner of this fight will enter the Super Series Tournament and face a guy called Anvi Yildirim in the quarterfinals, 16 and over 10 knockouts. But it, this fight is what it is, 17 quid on pay-per-view. A lot of people are pissed off by that. To be fair, 17 quid to watch Chris Eubank Jr. fight a faded world champion in which he's being favoured heavily. I understand why people would be pissed off, but you know what you're getting with the Eubanks. That's what they do. This is what they're doing, and it is what it is. If you don't like it, then we're going to have to find a stream online, and that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be watching it on a stream. The last fight on ITV pay-per-view on Quidland, there was fucking hundreds of streams. But if you want to go out there and pay the 17 quid for the fight, then that's up to you. That's cool. It is what it is. But yeah, I'm... Going to predict Chris Eubank Jr. stops off Abraham within 10 rounds. That's my prediction. Comment below your opinion. Do you think Chris Eubank Jr. will stop off at Abraham? Do you think he'll win on points? Or do you think Arthur Abraham will beat him? Do you think this could be too early for Chris Eubank Jr. Even at this stage of his career? But I'm going to go with Chris Eubank Jr. in this fight. Comment below in the comment section.